Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Are you a chocolate lover on a quest to find out is chocolate halal? Well, if that is the situation, you've come to the right place. Join us on a delicious journey exploring the world of chocolate through the lens of halal dietary laws. As you might know that the chocolate with its rich flavors and different types of colors holds a special place in our hearts. But for those following halal guidelines, indulging in a chocolatey treat requires a bit more thought. Today, we're diving deep into the halal chocolate landscape, uncovering everything you need to know. As some of you might know about this issue, you know, chocolate is a global phenomena. Almost everybody on the face of the earth, they love chocolates. It's actually derived from the cacao tree. Chocolate's rich history dates back thousands of years, evolving from a bitter beverage to the sweetened treat adored worldwide. You know, how can we guarantee that it is okay for Muslims to, to consume any chocolate? You know, the easiest and the best way for us, the Muslims, to confirm whether something is halal or not is by looking at a halal certification logo by any halal certification body recognized globally. For Muslims, halal certification is crucial. It ensures the avoidance of alcohol, pork derivatives, and ensures all animal products are sourced from animals slaughtered according to Islamic laws. The halal status of a chocolate depends on its ingredients and preparation methods. So basic components like cocoa, beans, and sugar are generally halal. Of course, there is no doubt about it. But it's the additives we need to watch out for. Let's break down the key considerations for halal chocolate, from ingredients and processing to certification. And which brands are halal certified? That's an important question for all of us. As you may know, many brands cater to halal dietary needs. From Cadbury to Lindt and Mars, the options are expanding day by day. So how can you find halal chocolates and what are the dietary considerations you need to keep in mind? Halal chocolates also cater to various dietary restrictions. With the growth of online retail and specialty stores, finding them has never been easier. No matter from wherever you source your chocolate, the most important question which you got to keep in mind is that you got to have a strong vigilance. Vigilance, you know, is key. Reading labels carefully, Researching products and leveraging community resources can ensure your chocolate indulgence aligns with halal principles. So what are the alternatives for if you, for example, if in your area you're not able to find any halal chocolates, what should you be doing? For those seeking alternatives, vegan and organic chocolates are also great options. And why not try making your own halal chocolate treats at home as well? If you're confused about chocolate decor, remember one is pure halal ingredient while the other contains alcohol and is not permissible. So whether you want to consume chocolate liquor or chocolate liqueur, you have to differentiate between the two. Our journey, brothers and sisters, through the halal chocolate world shows it's possible to satisfy your sweet tooth while adhering to halal standards at all times. Armed with knowledge and vigilance, you can enjoy guilt-free indulgence. So thank you so much for joining us today on this mouth-watering adventure. Until next time, please keep exploring and enjoy your halal chocolate journey. Inshallah, in a few days time, we will come up with another episode from the Halal Times. Till then, Salaam Alaikum.